Hello everyone. Um, this is what we're going to do today. So let's take a look. Let me preview it on the web browser. Command return. Zooming in, flying, rotating, zooming in, zooming out. Something like this. So I would call this kind of a drone shot effect or a satellite shot. Again. Hover. Out. Flying. Zooming in, rotating, ending. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm, I'm opening the new document in Anime CC, the size of 600 by 600, 24 frame rate in HTML5 canvas, and create it. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can view my entire screen, entire stage, and then go to File. And let me import that image I provided, uh, import to stage, which is layout.jpg, just this one. OK. Let me zoom out to see how it looks like. See, so on the corner, that's the 600 by 600 pixel uh, stage, and image size is pretty much bigger than that. And as you can see, that I made a several points with the text, art, design, and my logo. So it's a kind of a part of my self, uh, personal branding. Okay, so um, in order to animate, to create that kind of drone shot. Uh, there are two different ways we can animate, we can move around your images by using the classic twin or motion twin, or we can use the camera tool. Uh, I'm going to make a link on top of this screen so you can view it uh, my, from my previous uh, video. So what I'm going to do is, let me zoom out again, let me zoom in. About seventy percent. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, but I want to use maybe about kind of a ten second or a fourteen uh, between ten and fifteen second animation. Uh, but um, it depends. Maybe you can add more frames, more time later, anytime. So um, based on the um, uh, uh, the animation I showed you at the very beginning, that was about fourteen second animation. So in here, on the fourteen second mark. I'm going to insert just a frame from 1 second to 14 seconds. And that's it. Next thing is, I just need to insert the, the camera tool. Camera. Okay. Once you insert the, uh, click on the camera tool, it creates a new layer for the camera. So the concept is, we're moving the camera around. We make the camera closer to the image or further or rotating. So that's what we're gonna do. So first, on my first keyframe of my camera layer, go to insert menu and create classic twin. Okay, just to make it easier, I'm going to make a keyframe, insert a keyframe every one second. So on one second mark, oh, before I insert the keyframe, I need to define the where to start. So let me zoom out first. So once you turn this with camera tool, you can see that kind of a slide bar on the bottom. And then um, also you can move around, but as you can see that everything moves kind of opposite direction because we are moving the camera. We are moving your point of view, your camera viewfinder. Let me zoom out more. Okay, maybe a little more. Even more. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to start maybe from here. Okay, and then on one second mark, let me insert the keyframe. And let me zoom in like that. I'm going to move something like this. 
I want to zoom in even more. Even I want to rotate my camera. So choose that button. You can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, like that. I may want to zoom in even more. Maybe like this. So what happened is, see? On my first keyframe, my camera is kind of rotating, spinning, and zooming in. See? And two second mark, insert another keyframe, I'm going to move it. Just like this, but slowly, so not too much. So zooming in and moving. And next stop is three second mark. Let me insert the keyframe. I'm going to move more. And I want to stop here. And then let me use my camera, the rotating tool, and rotate it like that way maybe a little more and let me zoom in and move it so on every keyframe there you can uh, have a kind of different setting you can stop somewhere you can make it bigger or smaller so this is what's happening so far zooming in and spinning moving slowly and then Stop here. Oops. Here. Okay. And then I want to give it kind of a little more time uh, for the viewer so they can read it. So on the four second mark, let me insert another keyframe. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, meaning getting closer to my text. Okay. Now another five second, uh, another one second mark on five second. Let me insert the keyframe. I'm going to zoom out this time. Zoom. And move it to that way. Even I may want to rotate it. Like that. Or maybe this way. Okay. So. Like this. Okay. Now. Go to six second mark, another keyframe. I'm going to move it to that way. Maybe somewhere here. Maybe zooming in, up, oh, zooming in, like that. Okay. Then Next, one second mark, uh, seven second. Insert the keyframe. My next stop is a design, the text. And let me rotate it. And zoom in. I'm going to move it to the center. Okay, and then also as I did on the art, my first uh, text on another one second mark, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger so uh, people can read it. Maybe one second is kind of enough time. So after that, I'm going to zoom out again to the sky. Insert another keyframe. Let me zoom out. Maybe move the camera, or I may rotate it opposite direction, maybe like that. Okay. Okay. And 10 second mark. Uh, let me insert another keyframe. So uh, you, you can build up, you can create a kind of your pathway. Okay. And move my camera again. I'm going to rotate it. This way. Okay. 
Maybe just let me do this way. Okay. And then, next stop is 11 second mark. And going to move it and zooming in at the same time. Zoom in. Place in the center and rotating like this. That's my logo. Okay. And let me zoom in even more to fill this 600 by 600 square. Okay. Like this. And then we have three seconds more. So on the 14 second mark, let me insert the keyframe. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. So let me zoom in out slowly. That means not too much. Okay. So let me rewind it. I'm going to play it. Art. Design. And my logo. Okay, so it is okay, but um, it is not that dynamic. Let me preview it again. Art, design, and my logo. Okay, so um, by controlling, there's some easy options that we can make some kind. We can add some dynamics. So let me go back to the very beginning. So let me highlight the first keyframe of my camera layer. And then in your properties panel, uh, I'm going to change my ease option down to a negative 100. My second keyframe, opposite, 100. So I'm repeating kind of the same steps on my cam. So it will control the kind of uh, your camera's moving and spinning speed. Back to 100 and minus 100. Hundred again and back to minus hundred. I would think we are almost there. Oops. And hundred. And negative hundred. And hundred. Two more. Negative hundred. And this is the last one. Hundred. So um, let me preview it. You see the difference? Getting slower and faster. There's a kind of a tension. It's more dynamic. Ooh. Okay, so um, you may feel it's a kind of a little fast, so you can control it uh, by inserting keyframe maybe uh, every other frame, so every two seconds. Okay, or you can make it even faster, or you can have the different kind of a pathways of your camera tool. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you enjoy this video and uh, hopefully um, uh, this helps uh, your project. So thanks for watching and see you next time.